What is up everyone, it's Simon, and today I'm branching out from my usual gear talk videos and starting to talk a little bit about not specifically camera equipment, but equipment that helps me run my production company from wherever I am. For the last like, year and a half, I have relocated to Salt Lake City, Utah. And with that comes a lot more time spent in remote areas that don't have signal. I, I'm originally from the Northeast where a lot of places I go have cell phone signal or cell phone signal nearby. Now that I'm in Utah, there's a lot more places where it would be great if I could get a little bit more signal to get information out that I need to, to a client, et cetera, et cetera or just to be able to do research about where I am or like find out if I'm in the exact right spot that I need to be to get a specific image that I'm looking for something specific. I had the opportunity to test out the WeBoost Overland version. Uh, it is a signal booster, not a satellite device. Uh, it is basically, the gist of it is it improves your cell phone's ability to have signal and it is a very simple device to use. Uh, the general gist of it is this is my antenna and there's a coaxial cable that goes from your antenna into the vehicle, which is this right here, and plugs into this beefy little box. And then you've got an inside antenna that your phone is picking up, this antenna, and then you got your power cable. Pretty simple layout. Um, there's a lot of ways that they send for you to connect the antenna to your vehicle, which is super helpful. But because I was just borrowing the system, I didn't want to do anything crazy because I don't have a specific thing on the roof of my vehicle to affix an antenna to. So we literally just hooked it to a suction cup essentially. And when we would stop, I would set it up and then run some tests. Um, and recently my partner and I spent some time out in the woods. We went out to the Uintas on Saturday and then we went down to the Richfield, Utah area to do some mountain biking on Sunday and a Monday and we're able to really test the system. And it did exactly what's advertised. It boosted the cell phone signal. Uh, it did not provide us with a lot of signal when there wasn't any, when it didn't have any antenna. But basically like the general gist, the way I looked at it was I was able to gain about a bar of cell phone signal whenever I, or wherever I was. So like if I had zero bars, but I was on the edge of a bar, I'd get a bar. If I had one bar, I'd get two bars, etc. cetera. Um, it helped me enough to be able to access my phone's data in places I wouldn't have been otherwise. Um, is this a product that I'm 100% definite on buying? I'm leaning towards it. Um, this whole setup is, I think, around $500. I'll put the price up here. Uh, and I think that it's a good value if you are going to be regularly doing things in places where there's not necessarily the best signal, but there is some signal. Uh, if you are in places where it's so far remote that you don't have any signal at all, you may want to look at like a Starlink or something like that. That's a, that's a SATCOM. This does not replace my carrying my Garmin inReach Mini because that is a safety thing for me. This allows me to better use my cell phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot to get files out, upload things to socials, etc. Um, it's a great product. I'm super happy with it from our initial tests. Um, there's not really much else to say about it. It's a really nice compact package, which is also handy. This doesn't take up a ton of space, and it comes with this articulating arm that lets you put it out of the way if you need to get your vehicle lower, or you can leave it up if you want to. Um, you've got options, and there's also a little spring option as well. So, yeah, great little product. There's not much else I can really say about it other than it did what it's advertised to do, which is boost your cell phone signal. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, you guys have any questions about things that you are using that you want to know more about or like you're interested in, leave a comment down below. I'm testing different equipment all the time and seeing what's going to work best for me as I go into the future with a different looking sort of adventure production rig. Um, other than that, have a great week. See you guys next time.